Stay right there in your cozy chair For 30 minutes of pleasure Don't you go, it's more than the show It's the talk of the desert It's the talk of the desert with Belinda Reed I just love coming home at night I turn around, she's a treasure Everyone and everywhere I go now, here's Melinda. Well, I have to tell you about a PBS special that is just so fantastic. It's called Rhythm of the Dance. And joining me on Talk of the Desert, he's been a guest before, is the co-producer and director of the PBS special, and that's Chip Miller. Chip, welcome back to Talk of the Desert. It's nice to be back. <laughs> Give a little Wait, Irish tone Irish there. brogue. <laughs> Did I hear something? I, well, it is called Rhythm of the Dance. Yes. yes. Now, theme. tell me about how this PBS special started. Well, it's actually very simple. Um, uh, I first got involved with a PBS special back about eight years ago with Donovan. Uh, did one for PBS, and that kind of charged it up. And through that, I met this guy, Terrell Cass, who was the co-founder of public television, actually. And we became partners, and we did a piece for Diane Carroll at the Annenberg Theater, which is when I downtown think I met Palm Springs. downtown Palm Springs. And that was a very successful show. We followed it up with a Native American one. And then about a year ago, we did one in Puerto Rico with Mark Anthony. And then the Irish one came about. Um, and that appealed to me, particularly being Irish. Uh, and it was a combination of Terrell Cass and myself wanting to do a different spin on River Dance and Lord of the Dance, something a little different than just a stage show. And so the concept came up to go to PBS and approach them and say, look, we've got a completely different approach here. We're going to shoot on location. We're going to shoot on the stage. And we showed them the concept. And they just loved it and thought it was going to be, really work out terrifically. And it has. And uh, so it premiered back in March 17th on St. Patty's Day. It did, did a test around the country. And it did exceptionally well with viewers and critics. And now it's going to be an annual broadcast on PBS for the next 10 years. And it comes out in August again as a big pledge special. Congratulations, well, Chip. How exciting. And of course, it's a really, the reason it's successful is we had this hot redhead that was doing our hosting <laughs> for us. And <laughs> yes, it's technically called, called the pledge host. I've been calling myself the pitch girl, but I'm the one that's asking for donations that's to PBS correct. to support wonderful programming like and this. And did a great job at it. Thank you very much. But recently, we had the actual cast for Rhythm, uh, Rhythm of the Dance at the Ago Caliente Casino at the show yes. showroom. Yes. And I did some interviews there. Tell yes. me about them coming to the desert. Well, um, I was very excited by that, obviously, because there was a chance to see them locally with my friends and contacts to have a chance to see the live stage show, which has been a major success, too. They've played uh, 58 countries, <laughs> over 4 million people. So that they finally got here to the desert was very exciting. And we sold the place out. It was like 2,250 seats in like two weeks. Yay, so congratulations. It was extraordinary. And the kids loved it. It was really exceptional for them. And, uh, and of course, you remember one of the tenors was there, got a real charge out of meeting Frankie, your husband. Yeah, that's a... uh, So yeah, it was just an exceptional show. And I'm so thrilled that you guys all got to come and interview the cast. And... Well, I did some interviews in the lobby of the show yes. with some of the celebrities that were at, at, at the show of yeah. the Rhythm of the Dance. And then we went backstage and I got to interview the cast members. And you talked about kids. They are kids. Yeah. You got to be like... 20 years old to do this <laughs> Irish steps dancing. It's not for me, I'll tell you that. Of course, I have no rhythm. Ice. But anyway, Chip, I want to congratulate you, on, you. congratulate you on the success of Rhythm on the Dance for PBS. And it should be coming to KVCR Channel 9 here in the desert soon. And then let's take a look at my interviews in the lobby of the show. Absolutely, that'd be fun. Thanks, Chip. Talk of the Desert is on location at the Algoy Caliente Casino at the show, the showroom, at, here at this casino. And we're in the lobby, and we are here to watch the Rhythm of the Dance, stage spectacular. And it's an association with the PBS special. It's coming to our local PBS station so, soon called Rhythm of the Dance. It's produced by Desert Cam and Terrell Cast Productions. And I am so honored and so excited. They have selected me to be the, let me make sure I get the term right, the pledge host for the PBS special. It's produced by the National Dance Company of Ireland 
and I know we're going to have a grand time. We're going to do some interviews with people here before the show, and then we're going to go backstage with the dancers and the actors and the production crew that went to Ireland for 15 months to produce the show for PBS. I hope you enjoy it, and I know I'm going to have the rhythm of the dance. It's such a wonderful night, darling. Well, to see you in your splendor. You are gorgeous. Thank you, Brian. Well, this is Brian Panella, manager to the stars. And Brian, you work with Chip Miller and his production company, Desert yes. Snap, yes. to produce a show for PBS a year or so ago. I did. Tell me about that. That was uh, Diane Carroll. We did a special for PBS. And Chip Miller was instrumental in saving the show. Yes. It, it ran into some problems. And we, thanks to him, we got it fixed. And it was a total success. It, it did extremely well. She got standing O's, and we sold a lot of product over the uh, PBS network. So that was a Excellent. great evening. That's how I got to know him. And Brian, you're here for the Rhythm of the Dance. What do you expect can't, tonight? I can't wait to see this program because, uh, first of all, I'm prejudiced. My mother's Irish. And the family comes from back in, in Ireland, so I'm going to get to see some of the great dances. But more. Pinnell, Pinnell is Italian, isn't it? Yeah, my father was Italian. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, and, and so I had that combination. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was always fun when the two families got together. The Irish grandmothers would pull me one way, and the Italian grandmothers would pull me the other way. So I never knew where I belonged. <laughs> That's how I ended up in show business. <laughs> That's right. Anyway, now, who, do you, who do you manage? Oh my gosh, Pia Zadora and Diane Carroll and, and a, a host of people over the years. My first client was Peggy Lee. And from Peggy it went to Morris Albert and, oh my gosh, Tavares and the Pointer Sisters and Fifth Dimension and... You're name dropping, I know you're name dropping. So it was a yeah, lot of was. people. That's how I got yeah. this gray hair. It is. <laughs> yeah. The entertainment business, you've got gray hair. I can yes. understand that, Brian. Absolutely. Yes, I'm a... Absolutely. Well, Brian, enjoy the show tonight. Thank you. I'm really looking forward to it myself because I'm so envious of anybody who can dance because I literally have three left. So do I. Yeah, you do. Yeah, huh? that's okay. so I go here just to learn how to get out of the room. Thanks, Brian. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Good, Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Well, fancy meeting you here. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, I have another Italian joining me. You're not going to hold that against me. Well, tonight you have to be Irish. I'll be, you can't I'll be, be Irish tonight. We'll be Irish For Chip tonight. Miller, I'll be Irish. That's right. This is entertainer Frankie Randall. Hi, everybody. And, yes, and Frankie, you Good are. Hi, Melinda. Oh, hello, Frankie. How are you? Um, you are an expert musician. Piano, singing, all of that. What do you expect from the show tonight? For the Mother Dance? Well, first of all, Chip is involved in it, so I know it's got to be fantastic. Uh, but I took tap dancing lessons for a short period of time, and from what I understand of this show, it's it's going to stagger me because I have such respect for people who dance, whether it was Fred Astaire and those people, or the folks who are going to be in the show tonight. So I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to. to uh, now, are you going to want to get up here on stage? Um, uh, no, no, I think I'll leave it to those kids that are going to really knock our socks off. I hate to tell you this, they are kids. They're like 25 years old. They're kids. Know? Yeah, because it takes a lot of energy to do what they do. That sure does. It is. I know that from personal experience. I still have my top shoes, though. You do. Okay. Yeah. You've got to get those back out. I said it's, that last week. I said. It's excellent exercise. It's great exercise. And I'm looking forward to it. Chip, good luck. I understand this show is fantastic. I just wish you kids the best of luck. Thank you, Frankie Randall. Thank you very much. Thank you, Melinda. Just go to AJ, I'm here. AJ, I'm here? <laughs> AJ, I'm here? AJ, I'm here? AJ's no, here. pronounce your name for me. Hagai. 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 H A G A I. I'm here. I'm here. I got him here. You got that one right. Cool. Yes, yes. And I'm so excited to be involved in the dance because I think it's a fantastic production. Tell me how you're involved. Well, I'm an executive producer of the show. I uh, worked with Chip for years now, and uh, it's one of those really unique projects that came to us, and it's fantastic. And how did you meet Chip? I met him through a friend of mine who's actually with us here, and um, it was a total coincidence, like life goes on, and we met him, and we kind of really got interested in the same things, and we decided to get involved in this business, and we moved it on, and here we are. I'll tell you, what I've seen on the internet, this is 
going to be a fantastic stage show, but also it's going to be on PBS. And I think it's going to be terrific that we've got the stage show and then the television show that it took a long time to produce it in Ireland. Wow. Yeah. I, I can't wait to see it. Okay. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you. Bye bye. To tell you, this is one of the desert's favorite celebrities, and that's Michael Dante and his beautiful wife Mary Jane. Thank you for joining us tonight for Rhythm of the Dance. Are you excited about this, Michael? Yes, I love the dance. I love the rhythm dance. All the dancers. I can't believe the coordination between all the artists and, and how they can move their feet, so forth and so on. You know, I thought I could move my feet pretty good playing ball and so forth, but they are sensational. I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, with all my heart. And I'm so happy for Chip Miller, the producer of the show. And, uh, Chip and I are dear friends, and we're working on a couple of projects. And hopefully, uh, we can be uh, successful and as good as this from what I hear about uh, the dancers and uh, the dance show. So we're. Uh, we're excited. So Mary Jane, do you think you'll be toe tapping when you come out of the uh, show, or do you think you'll be so. singing some <laughs> Irish songs? Huh? We love Irish dance, so we yeah. wish you a lot of luck. Terrific. And you know, there's something uh, in that one of the places we uh, we've been in Europe, we've been in Italy and France and so forth, but we do want to go to Ireland. We hear so much about Ireland and so forth. And okay. Uh, this will maybe. Uh, <laughs> Michael, I happen to know that you just have to be an extraordinary golfer. Okay. Now, does golf and Ireland have anything to do together? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Now, I don't know if this is true, but I'd like to find this out. You know what golf stands for? No. Gentlemen only, ladies forbidden. Now, I'm not sure that that's correct, but that's what I heard. <laughs> I like that. That's you like good. that? Absolutely. And you're pretty green. Well, oh, thank you. I, I've got a little Irish in me, and of course, I came with the red hair. So. Yeah. <laughs> and I love your green outfit. Thank you. I thought I should ball. dress green. Thank yeah, you very thanks. much. We'll enjoy the show tonight. Thank you. We're looking Thank forward you. to it. Really looking forward to it. Me is the main person behind uh, Rhythm of the Dance, and that's Chip Miller. Chip, you are the director and co-producer of this PBS special. That's right. Yes. And how did you decide to do this? I mean, it's a fantastic event. I know that. Uh, really, uh, just to kind of make it uh, a long story short, you, you, there's been a lot of Irish dancing on television, obviously Lord of the Dance. And, uh, and river dance and so, and so forth. And we just didn't want to be another Celtic dance show, so we wanted to kind of take a different approach. And we kind of traced the history of the different songs and dances and where they came from and the areas in Ireland that they came from. And I thought it'd be really fascinating to take these dancers on location at these incredible places from like 545 BC and whatever and have them reenact on a location exactly what they do on stage and then make seamless transitions to the stage. So it's kind of become educational, entertaining. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a very unique show, and obviously public television is just overjoyed. They just think it's terrific. So we're really what I've seen of it is absolutely fantastic. Thank you. I mean, you have it jumping from some ancient ruins onto a stage, and it's that fast. And the kids are amazing. Yeah. They, the places they dance and the weather they dance in. Okay, now introduce the gentleman to my right. This is Norm Anderson from Timeless Media Group, and he is a, an executive producer on this program, and he's been with this thing since day one. Day one, right. <laughs> and he's a duck. <laughs> from <laughs> Oregon. You bet. <laughs> yes, you exactly. Bet. So, Norm, tell me about your involvement and why you wanted to be here. Well, just a few years ago, uh, again, I, I uh, Irish heritage, other than the, the Anderson part, which is Scandinavian, but uh, I love the river dance. And, and uh, when this came along, as far as a possible production, uh, I, I contacted or we got together with Chip, and we all decided that this is a great uh, show. The concept is wonderful, the kids are fabulous, they're young, they're enthusiastic, they perform well, and they travel. <laughs> they have a show tomorrow at 3 o'clock in Scottsdale or yeah. something. So anyway, so I said, yeah, I'd like to get involved in it. And, uh, Chip and I have worked together now along with uh, Carol Cass, who's uh, a veteran PBS Icon. Icon, right. And he's the one Does he know that? <laughs> Never mind that. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we tell him that. We tell him that, okay. But he's the one that got us all together, basically. So, uh, we think this, there's a big future with this, and, uh, and it's just a wonderful show. Now, have you done anything like this before? No. No. I've been in the video production business. Uh, and distribution, but never anything like uh, uh, Rhythm of the Dance. This is the first for me. Uh, 
That's great. And being involved with the PBS special? Uh, we have done some other PBS work. Uh, we did a Red Skelton production. Uh, PBS that was pretty successful. And uh, well, I was kind of looking for something else too. I am semi-retired now, but uh, Chip's keeping me active. <laughs> yeah, so. Don't let him retire. <laughs> yeah, right. So. You don't retire. You're never no, retired. No, no. Just tired. <laughs> exactly. Anyway. Well, good luck with everything. Thank with you. The show here at Apple Caliente Casino and, of course, at the PBS. Thank you so much. Eric O'Bra. Thank you. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And joining us is Ken Kavanaugh, who is the tour manager and producer of Rhythm of the Dance. And tell me a little bit about that, Ken. Yeah, well, uh, Rhythm of the Dance has been going 14 years now. Uh, I've been there since day one. Myself, my father produced the show, and we toured internationally in that time. Uh, 51 countries, four or five continents, and we performed to, at, the, at this stage, over 5 million people. So, uh, yeah. Now, tell me about the production, the PBS production. Uh, well, uh, PBS has come on board with us in the, and, uh, in the last couple of years. We've been working on uh, getting to this point now whereby uh, it's time for Rhythm of the Dance to uh, be exposed to the American public. Absolutely. So, yeah, no, it's been really exciting. Uh, years. So, Amir, tell me about your, your involvement with Ken. Well, I don't have direct involvement with him. My involvement is really with Chip and Desert Cam, who did their production of it, um, as, as a partner for Chip. And I've been working with him for the last few years to build the company to get to the point that we can really accommodate shows like yours and really bring them out to people. And how do you find your dancers? Do you apologize? They're very excited about it. Uh, our dancers have been coming to America with us now for quite some time. And, uh, you know, they, they understand how this is all working and what it means. And they're very excited and curious as to see where this is going to go. And, how far we can go over here, and uh, yeah, they they really they're on side. I want this to work. Absolutely for that. But how do you how do you hire your dancers? Do they start out with little kids, little kids dancing, or yeah, the dancers themselves they start at about four or five years of age back in Ireland. And every town, village, and city in Ireland has a dance school, and they go there at a young age. But we have dancers in there; they're only 25 or 26 years of age, but they've been dancing over 20 years already. They start very, very young. And for Rhythm of the Dance, we hold auditions every year, every September, before our touring season starts. And uh, that, from that, that uh, auditioning process is how we pick the grand delivery. And so, well, how did you get interested in doing this production of Rhythm of the Dance? It wasn't that much of my own interest. They came to us, and with the relationship that Chip has uh, with the PBS, they came to us and, and kind of suggested that we would do the show with them. And it kind of, the journey started from that point on. Terrific. Well, thank you, gentlemen. I know you're busy because you've got to get the stage show. Yeah, got to get the guys on stage. How many, right. how many dancers do you have? We're going to have over 20 dancers. We've got the three young Irish tenors, and we've got a six-piece live Irish traditional band. So the audience uh, will get a taste for all the different parts of our culture, song, music, and dance. And I love your accent. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, <laughs> I probably have an accent. <laughs> well, thank you, gentlemen, very much. Thank you. Good luck with thank everything. You. Nice to meet you. Well, those interviews were terrific in the lobby of the show at the Agua Caliente Casino. Stay tuned for the ha second half of the show, and I've got interviews with some of the cast members, and you're really going to love them.
Well, in Rhythm of the Dance, there are three darling tenors, Irish tenors, and joining me is David Glenn, who I guess, are you the lead tenor of the tenors, of the three tenors? Well, I'm probably here the longest, so. The longest. And okay. I'm the oldest. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, well, you, it was just fabulous, and I loved it. The audience did, too, when you sang Danny Boy. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's Irish. I mean, that's we. That's yeah. what we as Americans think of as Irish is Danny Boy. It is. It's a special song. Like um, it's become really an anthem, really all over the world. Yes. And it's, it's such a passionate song, and especially in America, it goes down so well. You know, the people love it, and usually in America, at every night when we start the song, the first line, "Oh, Danny Boy," you hear the round of applause. Yes. Which is very special, and you just get this great feeling, you know. Well, also you did a tribute to um, Ellis Island. And yes. I, I, I don't have any relatives that went through Ellis Island, but I have a lot of friends who did have relatives that went through Ellis Island. And uh, it was very touching for me. Yeah, it's a great it. piece. Absolutely. We, we decided to put that in last year, the start of the U.S. tour. And we didn't know actually how it would go down, you know, being yeah. so different than that. And what we decided to do was get a, a video montage on the, for the screen to show some great images of the time of the period. Yes. And the first night we went to Canada with it, and I remember there were were up on their feet after it, you yeah. know, and we w went to the States then, and it's just a special piece, so, yeah, yeah it's a great one. Well, uh, tell me a little bit about your career. When did you start singing? I started singing when I was about 16 years old, when I joined the De La Salle Choir in Ireland, and we went to all the national championships, and really? we won quite a few of them, and then I decided when I left school to give it a lash, kind of full-time, you know, so I got the voice trained, went to London, got the voice trained in Dublin and London, and then started touring with different shows and here I am since. And how long have you been with the I'm with the show company? about nine years I'd say, on and off. Really? Yeah, I first joined uh, back in the day, geez, um, early 2001, say 2002, and I've done kind of nine years on and off since then. So. Uh, on and off, meaning that you get meaning, to act some, actually some time off where you can spend some yeah, time Yeah, some home? time off and doing other projects. Like, I think if I was here from day one, I would have gone off my head, you know. <laughs> um, it's great to come in. I have a great... <laughs> but you would have cut off yeah. your head. That's not really good uh, when you're well, a singer. I know, yeah. but uh, yeah, I have a great relationship with the company. So uh, I'd go back to Ireland and I'd get some other work. And I'd Kenny or Kieran would give me a call and see was I like, busy. And they'd tell me the dates of a new tour coming up, etc. And I'd say, okay, put me down, I'm on. Where are we going to next? And where have you toured? What countries? Oh, I tried to count them one day. Uh, <laughs> we're up on 25 to 30 countries, I'd say. You have know, you really? Most wow. of Europe and as far as Russia, Asia, the whole lot. America, South America. Now, can you it's remember great. in that whole blur of things, what was one of your favorite areas? The favorite areas, um, I think China. The Great really? Wall of China. It was so different. And also Taiwan, because the people there went crazy. When we're in other countries, when you walk out stage door, it's uh, we just get on the bus. But in Taiwan, we were like superstars. We were treated like superstars. And so Taiwan, so it was, it was the Taiwanese like in, uh, yeah. Irish dance and song. Absolutely, and they'd go really? absolutely mad like during every piece, like really mad now. Interesting. Stamping their feet and they have this certain vocal noise they make, and it's crazy out there. So we got a great buzz off that, you know, and, oh, I think and that was so. different, you know. And obviously, America is one of my favorites. The people here and. The food <laughs> is great, you know. Um, yeah, the, the people are fantastic, and the compared, reaction from the audience. Compared to Irish food, huh? Uh, oh yeah, you can't beat home now, you know. But uh, hot sauce. Mo Mom's cooking, huh? Hot wings and hot sauce. I'm living on those. Out here. Yeah, it's, you it's are. Been great. Are you? That's cute. Now, do you have a family? I have a family back home. Okay. Yes, I have two sisters, one brother, mm -hmm. and mum and dad. Mm -hmm. So I am in the middle of a younger sister, Sinead. Then there's me. I'm not telling you the age. <laughs> then my older sister, <laughs> Sharon, and then my older brother, Brian. Mm -hmm. So there's four, mm -hmm. and my mum and dad. Mm -hmm. Well, David, I have something I know a little secret about you. Okay. See, people talk that you're a huge Frank Sinatra fan. I am. You are. You realize you're in Sinatra land right here in yes. Rancho Mirage, California. Absolutely. Because he owned a home here for about, I don't know, 30 or 40 30 years. years, yes. Yes, exactly. I met one, he's a um, piano player earlier on. After oh, the show, you, Frank. you did? Oh. Yes, he's a wonderful man. Terrific. Yeah. Well, um, also, do you know where we are sitting right now 
year, less than a half a mile. I don't know how many meters or anything that it is, okay. but less than a half a mile from Frank Sinatra's grave. Wow. You didn't know that, no. did you? I wanted to surprise you with that. And I could have been there today. And you could have been there today and visited his grave. Yeah, yeah that's fantastic. Desert Memorial yeah. Gardens. But it's just down Ramon just Road, down road. From, wow. from this casino. Yeah. He was an amazing man. Uh, he was. Yeah. Well, do you know that, that people go to visit his grave and they leave um, dimes and nickels and stuff because he was always concerned he didn't have enough money to make a phone call? Do wow. you know that story? That's unbelievable. Yeah, it is unbelievable. To see where he ended up then. Yeah, it's, exactly. It's, it's well, marvelous. he chose to be buried here because he, this is he loved the desert. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, how did you get interested in Frank Sinatra? Just growing up, listening to his CDs as well as listen to Elvis as well. Uh -huh. You know, a huge inspiration. And now, those are kind of different opposites. Frank Sinatra yeah, and Elvis. Yeah. I started off listening to Elvis, and then I kind of my uncle just listened to Frank Sinatra, and they'd give me his CDs, and so I used to listen to My Way quite a lot, and I still listen to it today, and. When we go to the odd karaoke bar, we'd, I'd, you know, I'd be, <laughs> up you go, my way. You know, that song was a huge influence on me. And obviously Elvis did a version of it as well. So. Yes. Yeah. But uh, it was brilliant. And as I said, meeting Frank earlier on after the show, I just he was interested in meeting us and saying, you know, great show. And I was there like this, you know, yeah. meeting him. Um, fantastic. Yeah. Amazing. Terrific. Well, good yeah. for you. Well, do you have anybody else that you admire from the United States? Or what about Justin Irish? Justin Bieber. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. <laughs> Wait a second, the hair looks a little bit like Justin, doesn't it? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> no. But, uh, well, he, he's a big influence in the music industry now. So These days he is, yeah. Yeah, he is. He would be now the Elvis of, of yeah. the new generation. Of this you know? generation, that's right. Now so. tell me about the other two tenors that you have with you. Yeah, Luke uh, Murgatroyd and Killian Colaby, two wonderful guys. And we have a great relationship here. Um, we work together very hard. And it's very important, you know, to gel together as a group. Mm -hmm. And that goes for all the group. Like, we live together, we travel together. So it's important when the singing comes together and we rehearse that the lads are, you know, we're all together as a group. They're fantastic voices and we all kind of gel. They've all kind of different voices. But, you know, we work well together and it's so far so good. That's terrific. How long have the, these three been together? Um, Killian is here about two years and this is Luke's first year, you know, okay. so. I'll probably do another year, I'd say, and then mm -hmm. off for another while, another few years. <laughs> and they're kind of the new um, blood coming in. Mm -hmm. They will take over, I think, mm -hmm. and there'll be someone else with them then, mm -hmm. so it's good. So have you ever tried to, tried to do the Irish step dancing that all the dancers do? Um, oh yeah, I can oh, do yeah. a few steps. You can? Do I to show you? Yeah. Oh, well, I guess, can we do that? I guess we can do that, huh? Chip, Just... here we go. <laughs> <laughs> they always get me to do a step, because I'm so long on the road, uh, you pick up some steps from, you know, hanging around the dancer so long. So uh, this is one. Whoa. Hey, look, hey. Hey, you can dance too, yay! It's going in tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> the swing number they do, from the old swing oh. era. I'm going to learn that one, I think, and do it maybe sometime. A surprise, you know? Surprise, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. so. Now, do you uh, change any of the songs or any of the choreography for the songs during the shows? You know, from venue to venue? Um, no. no. The only thing is we're learning a new piece that will go in next week or the week after. We okay. try and keep up to date and try and change stuff as much as we can. Whether they're one or two songs or just tracks, keep it kind of fresh. It's important to keep things fresh, you know. Mm -hmm. You're singing the same stuff the whole way, you know. You right. can get bored and right. tedious, so it's nice to keep up to date with stuff. So. Yeah, that's it. Okay, well, it's all good. Well, David, well, congratulations thank and thank you, you for much. gracing the stage here in Rancho Mirage. Yeah, fantastic. And place. remember, you're just very close I'm to going now. Sinatra. <laughs> I'm on my way, Blue Eyes. <laughs> Thanks, this David, very much. Fantastic. Lovely to meet you. Thank, thank you. you. For more information, email totdtv at questoffice.net and visit talkofthedesert.tv on the web.